today we're going to continue our discussion about adaptations by focusing specifically on birds. Now birds are animals you'll see all around your backyards and when you look outside and you look at birds you're going to see many different types of birds. There are thousands of types of birds in the world and each of these birds, the different species of birds, have their own unique features. We're going to focus today on the beaks of the birds. Sometimes these beaks are called bills. For example, like a duck has a rounded beak and that beak is called a bill. But also other birds have pointy beaks. So you're gonna have some materials. You're going to have a little cup. I just closed, chose this glass one from my kitchen. This is gonna represent the bird's stomach. You're going to have different food items like rubber bands, I just, I found things around my house, paper clips, rice, pasta, and I just took this food stuff and I put it onto my lawn. And you're also going to have your beaks. So for example, I have a spoon to represent the, the bill of a bird, and I also have tweezers. Um, if you don't have tweezers, you can use a clothespin, a binder clip, or you can get two sticks either from your yard or I just happen to have these two skewers that I can use almost like chopsticks. So what we're going, you're going to be doing is you're going to see which of these beaks is best for the different types of food. Now you only really need to pick three different types of food. I have four different types here just to show you that you can use real food like a little bit of rice or a little bit of pasta or you can use, you know, food, uh, different items that represent food. You might have little Legos in the house. I just use paper clips and rubber bands. So what you're going to do is either set a timer for 60 seconds or you're going to ask somebody to count 60 seconds for you, like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, all the way to 60. And you're going to be spooning or taking one of your beaks. I'm going to start with my spoon right now. And I'm going to try to see how much food I can get into the bird's stomach. So for 60 seconds, I'm going to be seeing which type of food is the best. Now I might spread this food out really well and see, you know, what can I get in to the stomach of the bird the 60 seconds. I probably want to spread it out a little bit better next time. And after 60 seconds, I'm going to go count the food that's in the stomach and then I'm going to record it on the recording sheet. Then you're going to just put the food back in the, the, the grass again, spread it out as well as you can. And then you're going to take a different type of a beak whether you do a binder clip or tweezers, whatever work, whatever you have at your house, something that you can put together like this. I'm assuming everybody has a spoon. I think we're all set for spoons, but for this, just find two things that can go together like in this, um, this way. So then you're going to start the whole experiment again. You're going to set the timer for 60 seconds. I have somebody count and you're going to see what you can get into this cup for 60 seconds, over 60 seconds. And at the end again, you're going to count to see what, of which, how many, how many um, of the different types of food you have in the stomach, recorded on your chart, and you're going to answer the questions at the end about which type of beaks do you think is best to eat which type of food. I hope you have fun doing this, and in, while you're out, while you're uh, doing the experiment, be thinking about uh, you as a bird eating your food. Which type of beak do you think would best fit? Uh, the different types of food that your bird is trying to eat. Have fun.